Master 22 here, and I am bringing you epi- well, not <laughs> just a tutorial. I'm used to saying episode. Uh, this is for Mac, in case you didn't, were wondering. But, um, this is just how to get QuickTime Player to play the audio from your computer back to your, um, what do you call it? Just to record the audio from your computer and the audio coming from your mic. Now you will also be able, you should also be able to hear the audio from your computer still come out of your computer. However, if you want to hear the audio from your mic, you can look up a different tutorial for that. Or you can, you know, do like I did and get some Turtle Beach X12s for your computer. And I think maybe you should probably just get some Turtle Beach X12s. Because it sound it's pr it's probably just a lot better in the long run. Either ways, let's see. Well, what are we gonna start with? First, you're gonna download the only thing you need to download, Soundflower. And here we're gonna go right on to Safari, right quick. Sorry, I was watching something. Just let me get rid of that. Either ways, now there will be links to the it links in the description for this. But I just wanted to show you sound flower. All right, there we go, sound flower right there. And it's gonna be by Cycling Seventy Four. Just click down, click on that. Now click the free download, and I'll click it. And pick the one. Okay, my mouse battery is low. Apparently, either a. Either way, pick the one that is for your type of your your OS. Now, it should say use for for OS blah blah blah, whichever one right there. I have one point. I have ten point eight right now, and that's what I'm gonna get. It'll give you an, an it'll give you a package that which you can find in your Finder downloads. And you're going to find Soundflower 1.6.b.dmg. And you're just going to open the Soundflower package right now. Now, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to uncancel. Alright, this is from the internet, I know. Either way, it's just going to be continuing and clicking next. I'm not going to install because I already have it installed. Either way, I'm just going to exit that out. Just wanted to show you guys where to find all this stuff. And then what you want to do, first things first, is you're going to want to type in, hold on, let me quit that. Either way, you're going to want to type in, where is, okay, you're going to want to click your search bar and type in M-I-D-I, -I, that stands for MIDI, and you sh you could for me, it doesn't allow me to click the top hit, so you might want to click your application instead. Or you can go to in, into the Applications folder. Now, you're going to make an aggregate device. <sighs> Sorry, I, I thought I heard somebody call my name. Anyway, you're going to make this aggregate device. Now, you're going to do that by clicking plus, create aggregate device. Now, you're going to want to select your input channels and your output channel. Now. For your output, you're going to want to select Soundflower 64. Now, for your input, you're going to want to either select, it should show your mic up here, or built-in output. You're going to select both of those. Now, I'm going to deselect these because I already have these selected in my previous, in my current aggregate device. Now remember, Soundflower 64 channel, this will not work with Soundflower 2 channel. And you remember your built-in input, or whichever input you have. Alright, now you can just safely exit out of that. It should show you it's still open. You can leave like that or quit out if you want. Now, <coughs> you're going, now you're going to want to click Soundflower Bed. Alright, and you're going to want to select this to built-in output. Remember, go under 64, it should be the green and yellow, and you want to select this to built-in output. Alright, now, 
what you want to do is you want to go into your system preferences and <clears throat> you're going to want to click sound and select the aggregate device as you can see from the bars it's showing uh, <coughs> sorry it's showing that the input for my voice and then on the output also select the aggregate device okay now that we have that settled I'm just going to click on output and minimize well actually no you don't need to minimize that because I can prove it to you right now because this doesn't have a meter anyways now what you're going to want to do is click on it right click quick time player and select new screen recording now I can't click that because I <coughs> I am on I am currently doing a screen recording. So now you're going to want to so I'm just going to click new audio recording. Now as you can see, it's picking up my voice. Now all you're going to want to do is select the quality you want, either high or maximum or whatever you want. And then you're going to click on the aggregate device. Be sure to do this. Now you're going to select the screen cut size record blah 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 do all of that and that is all that is all you need to know now however I do want to prove this to you so I'm just going to go into my iTunes and let's see what do I what do I want well, let's see library just purchased and play shop I'm just saying whatever you got in your life Screw that. Okay, either way, I'm just I'm gonna go into my profile because I actually have things that, songs that I like in here. Um Viva La Vida by Coldplay. I'll let you guys listen to that for a moment just to show you that it actually plays. <laughs> That was the first 10 seconds of Viva La Vida Coldplay. Good song, I suggest you buy it on iTunes. I say this and to avoid copyright. Um, let's see, but it is actually a good song and you should buy it on iTunes. But anyways, now I'm just going to go into QuickTime Player, go into new audio recording, and as you can see it's picking up my voice and I'm going to replay Coldplay and you should see these bars go up. Now it won't always show the bars going up, however, because sometimes sounds are a bit low and it just doesn't show the bars because the bars are very dim. If you can't see them, they're right there. I wait, I'm gonna replay this and let and I'll let you see. Okay, keep attention to the bars. <laughs> Sorry, I did stuff. But either way, those are a lot bigger bars than I was expecting. But either ways, that that's what it should look like. Either way, and that you can do that before your recording, by the way, to see if it's actually coming through. If it's not coming through, please leave me a message in the comments. I'll try to fix it if I can. But chances are, if it's not coming through, then you did something wrong, or you like you did a step wrong or you downloaded the wrong version of Soundflower either one of the two alright guys this has been t 22 this has been t 22 here don't forget to like comment favorite and subscribe and I will see you all next time goodbye